There are two main objectives on semen retention. The first is conservation, and the second is transformation. A mistake people often make when they embark on the path of semen retention is that they put all their efforts and focus on the conservation phase. Conservation is only one aspect of semen retention. Conservation enables you to increase the sexual energy within. This energy builds up and intensifies when you abstain from ejaculating. Semen is the physical manifestation of your sexual energy. When you ejaculate, this vital energy is expended and subsequently diminishes. Semen retention isn't just about abstaining from sexual activity, it's a journey of purification, transcendence, and sublimation of sexual energy. Conserved energy must be transformed, and transformation is achieved when you focus on the conserved energy. Transformation is about channeling and directing this potent sexual energy toward your goals. It's about tapping into the life force within us. Sexual energy is a reservoir of our untapped potential, a potent force that, when harnessed and directed consciously, can catalyze profound personal growth and transformation. In simpler words, that means you have to do something with this energy. Ultimately, what happens with your sexual energy depends on how you use it. Sexual energy, like any form of energy, seeks an outlet or expression. It's basically a tool that enhances various aspects of your life. Conserved energy will give you many mental and physical benefits. Transforming this energy means that you start using the benefits to your advantage. Some mental benefits include a sharper mind, improved focus, and enhanced concentration. Additionally, you'll find it easier to understand, memorize, learn, and acquire knowledge. The main physical benefits will be more energy, increased physical strength, better endurance, and recovery. Of course, you will also experience higher testosterone levels, glowing eyes, and better skin. Overall, semen retention will profoundly change your life and your personality. You will become more confident and disciplined, more positive and creative. Increased sexual energy will give you hunger for life. There are also spiritual benefits. You will feel a closer connection to God and the universe. You will also experience luck and synchronicities. People will feel drawn and attracted to your energy. I will go in depth about these benefits in future videos. Now let's go back to the main topic, which is transformation. So as I explained, you retain your semen, you increase sexual energy, and this energy gives you benefits. I use the term transformation in this episode, but you can also call it transmutation, which is a more popular term. So transforming or transmuting is simply done by using the energy and benefits in productive ways. The most important thing on semen retention is to have a goal in mind. And as I explained previously, you use sexual energy as a tool to achieve that goal. Energy is not meant to be stored. It is meant to be used. If you don't do anything with this energy, then most likely you won't be able to handle it. This will lead to a relapse, which will set you back on your journey. If sexual energy doesn't have a purpose, then it will find its outlet through sexual pleasure. Let's have a look at a concrete example. Let's say your goal is to become a jujitsu champion and you have been practicing semen retention for over 100 days. The increased endurance will enable you to roll and practice more frequently. With greater strength, you'll be able to push and work out harder than before. You will also be able to learn and understand new complex techniques faster than everyone else. With all these advantages combined, you will definitely improve and grow exponentially. In this scenario, the conservation of sexual energy has been directed towards becoming a master of jujitsu. Of course, that doesn't mean that you will become a master instantly and without any effort. It will still take you years of practice. Mastery is intensity multiplied by frequency, and semen retention will enhance both of these aspects. It simply gives you an advantage towards your goal. So this basically means that you have to follow the increase in energy by also increasing your level of work and efforts. It doesn't make sense to build up energy and then not use it. One more thing I'd like to add is that having a precise goal will considerably reduce your chances of relapsing. This makes sense because whenever you get a strong sexual urge, if you keep your goal in mind 
and remind yourself why you're on semen retention, then it's easier to resist the urge to release. So, the key takeaway from this episode is to avoid fixating only on the conservation phase of semen retention. It is important, but the whole purpose of this practice is to build up energy and then transform it. Therefore, you should focus on what you're going to do with that energy. If you're still struggling with the conservation phase and always relapsing, I'll be making videos in the future to help you out with this issue. That's it for today. I hope this video was helpful. If you guys have any remarks or observations, please leave a comment. Thank you so much for watching.